Hey everyone, welcome to Wedding Talk. My name is Peter. And my name is Nina. And today we're going to be discussing wedding trends. Yeah, wedding trends that we actually saw in 2017. It's still 2017 right now when we're shooting this, so um, hopefully this will give people insight for what happened this season. So if you're mm -hmm. doing a wedding in 2018, then you can kind of have some insight. And we have seen some pretty cool trends, and uh, one of them is a pretty cool cake. Yeah, actually the upside down wedding cake. So if you haven't seen that, you should Google that online. It's pretty cool. Um, actually, a some celebrity, I think, did this at her wedding originally. And so now it became a thing that everybody wants this upside down wedding cake. Um, I'm not really sure how the bakeries feel about that. I don't know because that's not my gig, but- But it was hanging um, from- But it was hanging upside down. So yeah. it's like this, right? Right. Um, and it's usually either a uh, chandelier that's hanging on or some sort of like floral piece over a chandelier and then it, it does that. The only thing is then I saw the grooms had to hold it, right. right? So the grooms had to like go like this while the bride would cut it. Right. So that's the only thing that I don't know if I dig that personally, but you may love that. You may think that's awesome. It's pretty neat. It definitely looks cool. It, it really is. Uh, something else that we found is uh, brides keeping their name. Yeah, brides not, I mean, this is a trend that's kind of just happening in the world that in which we live in, right? And a lot of the brides are, um, if they're not taking on the groom's name, and then they say, oh, how should I, because this is kind of new to them, sure. how, how am I introduced, right? There's absolutely nothing wrong with being introduced as Mr. John Smith and Mrs. You know Ellen White or whatever it may be. Um, that's not a problem at all. And if you want to be introduced as that, you should be. Um, if that's your thing, if that's, if that's how you thing. are as a couple, then go yeah. with that. Absolutely, and yeah. don't be ashamed of you know doing that. And uh, no matter what family or anybody may say, um, because I know old school sometimes you can get those opinions. But um, do what you do. You know, be happy in your decision. And it is a new and growing trend. The other thing we're seeing is speaking of the grand entrance is just the bride and groom right. so like they'll do no bridal party or no parents entrance just the bride and groom <clears throat> will enter and um that's kind of nice too because then it keeps it um you don't have to do the whole lineup so that can save a little bit of time right. in your reception yep. and i think for people i think that they feel like maybe it keeps the focus on just the bride and groom right, right? as opposed to all these people coming and you know what? i kind of like that I kind of like, kind of like the grand entrance being kinda just, like I mean, I'm kind of thinking about it and going, why is the whole bridal party coming in anyway? I mean, yeah. I'm not really, you know, I mean, it's about the it's bride and really groom. It's not really about you. I know. It's not really I about to say you. that. That's really bad. Yeah. But uh, maybe that's their moment in the sun. I don't know. Um, but that's true. And the other thing we've seen is no bouquet and Carter. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, hardly any of our couples are uh, doing a bouquet and Carter toss. Yeah. It's like yeah. maybe a quarter of them still do it, but um, it is an older tradition that's been around for a long time, but these traditions, they kind of weave in and out, it's right? True. So it may go through a phase of not being here and then may reemerge as something but that, else. But that doesn't mean that if you do it, it's old. No. It just means that, you know, listen, some couples are opting in and some couples are opting out. I think um, maybe with the um the garter maybe some families are like you know hey guys going under the dress and that's yeah. a family event and you know and people get drunk and you know this is it's a little bit weird see that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. so um you know th be mindful of of how the experience is for everybody and especially for the bride and groom and um you know choose accordingly absolutely and i think one of my favorite things that we saw in um, 2017 that kind of upped the ante a little bit was um the late night snacks kind of went to a whole new game right so people were having food trucks that would pull up outside the venue where people could get pizza on their way out like a whole pizza box or ice go. cream or ice cream or whatever and, and sometimes they've had the cookie tables and the this and the that but like this is like food food like now they're hiring a separate vendor to come in and basically and you know what serve the guests it's not a bad idea it's because not. you're not it's going not. to have the waste of um, some of the other, you know, food items that you might have already laid out that maybe some people don't want to eat or they're yeah. not going to take with them. Yeah, like you know, people eat pizza. Like if you put it out at the end of the reception, people are going Who doesn't to eat love pizza, pizza, right? right? Um, so that's always a, a winner. And they, you know, of course, there's been the um, sometimes they do those shooters 
where they're not alcoholic shooters. They're like coffee and chocolate, like little shooters, right? And they'll walk around the dance floor to give people that extra kind of boost of sugar, um, which they've been doing that for a few years. And I kind of like that. I'm yeah. always like, they're still doing that. But I think the food trucks definitely took it to a whole new game this year, which was pretty cool. Um, the other thing was they had artists. So like either a caricature artist or a painter. We saw a painter yeah. at a wedding this season who literally painted a portrait of the bride and groom cutting the cake that upside in, down cake too. that upside down cake yeah. in the actual venue that they were getting married in so it was really beautiful by yeah. the time the reception had finished she had finished a whole entire it was painting. it was really it was really, spectacular it was spectacular i was like was this wonderful. is like i've never seen this before and i yeah. really love it and people just kept coming up just to kind of you know watch her and kind of see her process it was it was it. really wonderful and uh, you know if it's in your budget you may want to consider that and yeah. something else you may want to consider is we've been seeing music live music through the entire evening the through entire the entire day. day basically so what people are starting to do is you know they really want that experience of that non-stop live music so they want the sarah before people are coming in at the ceremony could be a trio or strings or whatever it may be a quartet and then of course there's some music during the ceremony as there would normally be then they have the live music during the cocktail as well so that could be another trio we've also seen a cappella groups singing during that time um or something that's specific to the bride and groom so if you really like spanish music or something it could be that during cocktail and then it moves into the reception to an even bigger band live music um which of course we love that because we're actually with the elite show band we do weddings every single weekend but for us you know i think it's nice to see that trend of really kind of the through line of taking people through and the energy is a story. constant build so yeah. this is what we found was uh kind of cool because we could see the energy and see people getting amped up and pumped yeah. up and uh there was no awkward pauses or you know anything yeah. like that so really let's cool. recap a little bit about some of the trends that we found um through uh 2017 the upside down cake that was one the brides keeping their names yes um bride and groom only for the grand entrance yeah. um no bouquet, no bouquet garter, and garter. Yeah late night food trucks, yeah. artists, and a live music experience throughout the entire event. So yeah. um, those are just some of the trends and maybe it gives you some ideas for 2018 and hopefully it does. Trends from 2017 leading into 2018. Wedding Talk with Pete and Nina, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.